Thank you very much for the invitation. I should thank organizers. And uh, I'm, I sh also, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I need to apologize. This is purely in algebraic geometry, so I don't know the mere simple meaning here. And my motivation, can, can you read it? OK, yeah. So the moti maybe let me write here. First of all, I wish see, uh, the paper uh, we ha this is the working in progress. The preliminary report is on the in, in, on my web page, and uh, uh, the first part of that paper is in archive, but not the whole part. Okay. Uh, suppose we have uh, x as a smooth projective variety over complex numbers. And we know we have the notion of bounded direct category of coherent shapes. So I always denote this by dBx. So uh, this is the philosophy, not uh, precisely in mathematics, but uh, we have lots of examples setting this philosophy. So let sigma be a kind of stability. But I did mention uh, the exact mathematic meaning. Let's just see. We have a stable object uh, in uh, derived category, so that uh, uh, with, with some invariant. By invariant, I mean with some fixed chain, cl chain class C. So suppose it is a, a modular space. So you will have M sigma C. And uh, we can associate this modular space some uh, numbers or some invariant if this is uh, good in some sense. For example, if this is the, in the case of Calabial case, if uh, we have the perfect obstruction theory, then we could associate some invariant. So in general, this is so-called a uh, sigma invariant. On X, because it depends on this stability. Also, uh, we know uh, if we have the auto equivalence, then uh, we could also, uh, find some other, maybe some other modular space. So a sigma prime. So phi we send sigma to sigma prime. So we have the other modular space with another invariant. There might be some a relation. Usually it will have some birational relation. And uh, it's also associated to you another invariant called the sigma prime invariant. So the question is asked to the ask about the relations. Usually, uh, sometimes if, uh, for example, if sigma is given by the PT stability in the sense of panda her panda Thomas PT still pairs, sometimes you will have a sigma prime is also PT. So sometimes this sigma prime will be the same as sigma. So you will get, here you will get some uh, symmetry between your invariant. And sometimes uh, uh, you will have, uh, using this kind of method, you could possible to produce some uh, modularity properties of your in invariant. This, motiv this is the big background and it motivates us uh, the following question. Maybe it's more in more uh, concrete uh, way. I mean, uh, we need to s think about very particular kind of auto-equivalence. So that is our setting. So question, we are given an elliptic fibration. And let's denote, denote by x goes to b. This is the base, this is the uh, total space x. So the fiber is elliptic fiber. And uh, we could associate the uh, fully Mackay transform. So it's defined by, uh, uh, it's a relative fully Mackay transform for each fiber. So it's a, uh, it's, it is auto-equivalence. So what happens? 
this is very special auto equivalence. What happens to a slope stability condition? Or what happens to a slope stable coherent shift under such phi? So my comments is uh, we didn't, we don't fix, here we don't fix chain characters. I mean, uh, previously there was a lot of work on this kind of setting. Uh, for example, by a group of uh, uh, Bruzo, Machocha, Yoshoka, etc. There's a lot of papers. Uh, in their setting, you usually fix some invariant and want to understand uh, the Fulimukai image of of that, so it's basic speak is kind of uh, uh, study of modular space. But here, uh, we don't fix the invariant. We really want to ask the notion of uh, stability. So here, I will explain later what's the meaning of slope. I think all of you know that. So this is our question. And on, so this kind of question might have some uh, applications, or it's also our motivations. So it's a application also as a, a motivations. As I said before, uh, first part is uh, we could understand birational maps here. This is the, sometimes it's birational. between modular space. And uh, we could find some uh, relation between different continuum variant. Uh, actually, uh, there are some work, recent work, maybe two years ago, by uh, Albedic and Shen. They found uh, this, uh, by using this kind of method, to find the, the modularity of PT invariant. So answer this kind of question, uh, it's also uh, uh, maybe, maybe give us some uh, suggestion to construct uh, uh, bridge and speedy conditions on threefold, on elliptic threefold, because uh, because uh, to s there is a, a double tilting construction, well known double tilting construction, and uh, for those double tilting construction, in the middle step, this is the tilt stability, and uh, uh, if we could understand the image of the tilt stability after Fulim Kai, then it's possible to to give the construction of uh, bridge and stability conditions. Actually, that, that was done in the Arbitin threefold case by using this kind of method by uh, Mitrosha uh, and uh, Pure Zatni. So, uh, possible uh, bridge and speed conditions. Um, if it takes threefold. This is our hope, yeah. But here today, uh, because the title is only uh, surface, so here the sighting, uh, today the sighting is I just uh, think about my base as a curve, not, not surface, but base as a curve, but so the total speed is a, a project surface, elliptic surface. And uh, let me quickly review the notion of uh, uh, speed conditions. on surface. Of course, the first one is the, the Mumford speed t. Since I, I will use that later, so let me, uh, please let me write down the, the definition. Uh, e is uh, in the heart, and we could define the slope by is degree over rank, where this degree uh, is the 
first chain character pairing with the omega. Omega is ample. And uh, the rank is the CH0. But if CH0 is a uh, 0, then we define it to be infinite, the slope. And we're using this as a device to see uh, for any uh, coherent uh, short exact sequence. Uh, let me denote by zero, goes to M, goes to E, goes to N. We have uh, a slope inequality. Then uh, we see object E is a uh, slope semi-stable. But if we have strict uh, inequality, we call it uh, stable. I think it's, uh, it's well known. Uh, B? Uh, the first one is uh, semi-stability. M, uh, M and N, we, we don't consider middle part. I consider the, uh, this is some good news, it's considered a third and quotient. Yeah. Because here you have some modification. Yeah. And we can, uh, written in this way, so I could tell you what is the Generalization, we, we can think about the uh, bridge speed condition in this way. So, uh, bridge line stability is given by, uh, we need a, a central charge. So we will use this central charge. And uh, uh, we have this uh, construction of, in particular, you can compute the imaginary part of that. Imaginary part will be uh, given by uh, CH0 of E times uh, times this one. So if your CH0 is not a torsion shift, you could, you could put the common factor in front of that. So the inner part is uh, just slope stability. In this way, uh, sorry, this is omega. This is a number. So in this way, we can break our coherent heart according to the imaginary part of this number. That means uh, I, we could define T omega B by collection of all those shifts such that imaginary part, this part, is bigger than omega B. So uh, mu omega E is bigger than this number and define the f part to be smaller or equal to this number. In this way, uh, uh, in the morning, we have this, uh, learn this uh, torsion pair theory, so uh, by uh, Agnieszka, by your theory, so, so, so by your talk. So we can define this uh, curly B by uh, the shifted of this one, time pairing with T omega B. The good news is uh, it satisfies some positivity because we shift that. So uh, this is the lemma proved by uh, Bertram, Akra Bertram. Uh, Imagine uh, so uh, 
central charge will map object kit to uh, this is a complex number, so so it goes to here. Upper half of plan union with the negative real line. So it means I can written it as a number times uh, times of some complex number of this form so that phi e is in between one, zero and one, but here is strictly bigger than zero. This is scalar the phase. So uh, we can use in this scalar phase to define stability because it's in the upper half plane, it satisfies this positivity property. So, uh, uh, sigma pairing, sigma omega b is the pairing, is that omega b pairing with this uh, curly b omega b is a bridge line stability condition. And in particular, uh, just similar like here, we can define, we can define a phase. Uh, if here I define z omega e by, by using the degree and rank, it's like a negative degree plus i of rank. It's also in the complex plan, but uh, the difference is it will contain the zero point. You can define the phase here. You can define the phase here. So we will replace everything to define the, uh, the to call object to be brilliantly stable. We will re uh, just replace everything here. Uh, e is in the heart. And so F. So by the way, because this is the tilting, so this is the abelian category. Any uh, b omega b short exact sequence of this form, we have, we have, uh, we can use in, we can use in the the face here as a two to compare object it. So we have. Face of M is smaller or equal to face of N. Then, uh, then we see we see E is a Z omega B semi-stable. You can similarly define stable. So. You see, this is the, just using this generalization. And today, uh, because I will focus on, only feel focus on the elliptic surface, so uh, please let me write down the uh, concrete stability here. Okay, uh, let me move to here. So what's the meaning of uh, real stress elliptic surface? Uh, I think uh, uh, what I mean is here. Of course, it's uh, elliptic fabrication, but uh, I need a section that causes uh, uh, this flat morphism by P. So I need a section, sigma. So the assumption is that uh, P is a flat of uh, and all fibers are Gernstein of uh, arithmetic genus one because uh, I need the the very good behavior of the duality about, about the fiber. So, so I assume Gernstein and uh, a fiber are uh, integral that reduce and irreducible. So in particular, uh, this implies that uh, generic fiber is elliptic curve and uh, singular fiber would be uh, either uh, nodes or cuspid curves. 
And uh, by where thrust, I mean uh, there exists, exists this such section. So uh, let me denote the image of this section by the capital sigma. So, and uh, uh, I need a board to remember some notations. Let me write here. This self-intersection number is a small e, negative e, is a self-intersection number. Also, uh, the picture is like, like uh, once you have the singular fiber, you have sections, so this section meet, will not meet singular point of the singular fiber. So, uh, theta does not meet any singular point. That's my sighting. Uh, and by the way, uh, the fiber, generic fiber class will be called uh, F. So uh, here, F is a fiber class. So that uh, as a, you will think of this as a divisor, so it's a knife. And uh, we may have many sections, but uh, it should be finite as many sections, so that I could find a number. I could find a number, I call it M. Uh, is fixed number such that uh, this section plus MF, I will always fix that is a, uh, you can think of this is ample. Then I could uh, uh, take my, uh, take my position before Fulim Mukai. Here is a picture, it's, the, it's before Fulim Mukai, after Fulim Mukai. And the Fulim Mukai transform. I will take the, uh, Position before Fulim Mukai as I call it omega bar as uh, just uh, this this one plus a parameter. This is not important parameter f. But after Fulim Mukai transform, uh, I will choose uh, omega to be just like uh, uh, u sigma plus mf plus uh, Vf. Uh, in particular, uh, I didn't tell you the detail about the existence of Fulimukai, but it's well known. And uh, uh, it's given by the modular problem of you just consider for every fiber is degree zero rank one land bundle on the fiber and it's uh, uh, relative Poincaré shift exists, so you, you will define this one. But uh, the property we need is only that uh, uh, the property is you have the Fulim Chi and you have the inverse Fulim Chi transform, so that uh, the compose will be as the identity morphism on your direct category, but uh, shifted by uh, negative one. So here, that's why I chose phi one, and the inverse Fulim Mukai is given by phi hat. And I have some, uh, we have some uh, observation. Uh, before Fulim Mukai transform, we take this uh, slope stability. I using this one. Uh, after Fulim Mukai transform, I want to, I want to study the, the image, but uh, uh, we just pretend that uh, we, we first study this one, z omega zero. That means uh, I take this B field. This is B field to be to be zero, as simple as possible. So I take this B field to be zero. So I have this formula, and uh, of course uh, here, if you want to see uh, the definition here, uh, we could also give a twist here. Here we could also define a, a twist by just rethink this as the original one, but minus a universal constant. So it's a fake twist. It's independent of your object, so it's a fake twist. That means uh, uh, the notion of this twisted uh, month slope stability is essentially the same as the original one, but the good news is for the computational reason, I just fixed that. So we have uh, this fake twist. 
I call it B bar, and we take this B bar to be, uh, to be this strange number. It comes from our computation. Uh, I just take this one and take B field, that one. So the observation is uh, to link th this before and after is uh, Uh, we have this formula. Let me call object is before Fulimukai by E. And after this particular Fulimukai by F. So F is uh, phi E shifted by 1. The observation is uh, Z omega of F will be, uh, this is purely from computation by cohomological Fulimukai transform, you will, you will do this. Some, some, some number. Uh, provide that uh, this U and V satisfy equation. This is just by, by computation. And next step is uh, we, want to, we want to let V large enough. The idea is just, you, can, you can think of this as a, uh, this is the theta plus mf direction. Is m, this m is fixed. So the other direction is a fiber direction. And this will be a curve. So this is a u coordinate, this is v coordinate. It will be a curve like here, and goes along this curve and let V go to infinity. What happens? So it's uh, like a fiber polarization, but uh, uh, you will see we always change the direction of the polarization. So an, an, a naive or intuition guess is uh, give, to answer answer this kind of question is uh, might be this uh, slope stability is, is given by after from Mukai transform is given by this uh, bridge line stability but uh, we need a little modification is by this kind of limit so uh, the equation is this uh, stability uh, semi stability will have some relation. I will make this to, to be precise. Semi stability or stability for, for F. But uh, you will see here we are considered the coherent heart. And here, where is F? Of course, you will see the F is in the Fulimukai image of coherent heart shift by one. But this is not our purpose. Uh, it's not our choice. Uh, so, so we will define, actually we will define uh, this BL. You see here we have the definition of B. It depends on omega and B. And if I take omega of this form, and uh, goes along, like V goes to infinity along this curve. So I could define this B limit as B omega so that V goes to infinity and uh, along, let me call it a star along these curves. Along the curve. Uh, actually, you can you can find that uh, uh, the precise definition is given by also by tilt. You can find that uh, uh, you will find that this TL is the coherent shift as before, and it's the limit of that T omega. So TL is given by uh, by computation is given by uh, for any non-zero 
shift quotient f goes to a, we will have the uh, this slope, but with respect to this uh, knife class, to be positive or this slope with respect to knife class to be zero and another one to be positive. So it's the extension closure of that actually. And you can define the FL. But here is a non-zero uh, sub, sub shift. So A goes to F. So here uh, similarly, here is a not only s smaller, smaller or equal to zero. You have two. And uh, in particular, uh, you can you will see uh, this TL and FL are uh, a torsion, are also torsion pair in the coherent shape because it's here coherent, coherent. And uh, we're so. Uh, let me draw here, draw your picture. Yeah, 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 only with respect to this knife class. It's uh, not, not really, but uh, uh, this is, uh, anyway, anyhow, this is the, just the, the definition. You, you can check that, yeah. So, uh, because I keep this picture, so let me draw, uh, draw you a picture here. So continue, continue this uh, picture. So before uh, frame this db, dbx, still, still dbx, and uh, you will have co coherent heart here, so that this is coherent heart. And actually, you will also have coherent heart, another coherent heart on the right-hand side. So on the right-hand side, uh, we have the definition of uh, tilt by uh, T omega and uh, F omega, defined in the right that board, so that this is B omega. We are, uh, here, I mean, I take the B field to be zero on the right hand. So it's T omega, F omega. Also, uh, that is torsion, part, torsion pair, so it's T uh, L, F L, so that we have the B L here. Uh, once I have this, uh, this, this kind of notion, this kind of notion, uh, A, T, F goes to A sharp, it means uh, it's a torsion pair on the left and uh, the right part is the uh, given by F shift by one T. Okay, so I, ha I have this, this one and here is the limit. Limit along the curve, I, I remove the curve along that curve as uh, v goes to infinity. So we have defined limit heart here. Actually, uh, by some uh, analysis, you will, you will find that uh, uh, this is also a tilt. This is also a tilt. We can ready, yes? Question? Uh, Yes, I just, uh, I'm sorry, I just uh, defined, I just defined the, the heart. I didn't tell you the, the stability yet. I just defined the heart. The stability is given by, uh, so I should write a ZL. Just, just like there. Uh, here it is. So uh, object it is called uh, 
the air stable or semi-stable, uh, if uh, for any, just as before, for any BL short exact sequence, like before, so it's M goes to E. So I'm sorry, because right hand says I'm always using F. I don't want to confuse you. After from the transfer, so it's F, F. Uh, you will have the face of M is smaller than face of N. But this face is d depends on this is original face in sense of bridge line is here. This face is there. But this face depends on omega. And uh, so this is really means I'm using this 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 notion. This this really means uh, uh, as polynomial. So it's kind of polynomial stability as V goes to infinity. This is, should be a polynomial in sense of V, yeah. As go, V goes to infinity. So, uh, so I pair this together, I call that a limit bridge line stability. Keep that. I will I will denote this uh, by sigma l. Uh, more precisely, it's a polynomial stability, polynomial bridge stability, and. Uh, uh, Please let me write down the uh, heart here. So uh, you know uh, we can we can also tilt this coherent heart to this part. Let me write here. This tilting is given by so-called uh, uh, WIT shift. So let me write down. Uh, it is given by. So uh, I should tell you the definition of uh, W I phi is defined by shift. So it depends on either you choose phi or phi hat, but by the symmetry, it's time, uh, you can define the, all of them. So that uh, this is, uh, if I write in phi here, I will think I will map something, so it's from the source of phi. Source of phi is phi map source of phi to something is quite isomorphism to a shift, but is uh, sitting in the place of negative i. So uh, here actually we only have i equals zero and one because that's because uh, of the identity phi composed with phi hat equals phi hat composed with high equals, equals the identity shift by negative one. So we only have this two. That's the possibility. So uh, of course, you, you, could, you could define hat here. And maybe this is some other, some, some other shift. Yeah. For some shift. That's the definition. It's also a torsion, uh, torsion pair in coherent heart, and by this tilt, you will get the image. So you will, have, you will see uh, here is a torsion heart, here is another torsion heart, and so there is some relation, and the relation is given by the observation. Uh, actually, uh, this torsion part is inside the torsion part here, T. So W0 phi hat is inside T L. So by this observation, uh, 
anyway, we have uh, the so-called torsion triple. This is uh, here, because this part in, inside BL, this part inside BL, and uh, uh, W0 phi hat, and W1 phi hat intersection with uh, TL. This is a torsion triple, and for the torsion triple, the extension closure of the first two will still get the class, torsion class, so it's a still a torsion pair. This part, extension closure, and that part. Why should I written in this way? Because uh, in this way, I could re uh, write down my our main theorem. Uh, of course, you can find the tilt. I don't need to write down the detail. So the main theorem is that uh, so x to uh, b as a uh, um, maybe confused. This is base curve, so let me put b one, not the b field, b one. Uh, this is surface as before, elliptic. As we are thrust, elliptic. Uh, surface. Part A, uh, let E be mu omega bar stable. As I told you before, you can put a B bar here. It doesn't matter. It will not, not change the notion. It's uh, just a fake twist. But here, B bar as before, as uh, this string strange taste stable uh, torsion free shift so uh, then uh, if E is uh, locally free So F is a ZL stable in BL. That's a one part statement. That means uh, once you have the locally free shift here, uh, it will go down to here, pairing with ZL stability. Uh, Conversely, uh, suppose you have F, this F will always be the shape by this notion. So suppose F is BL, uh, in the BL is ZL semi-stable. Semi-stable. Uh, but we need a little condition. This is generic condition with uh, F times CH1, this Faber degree, uh, non-zero. Because uh, you will see uh, how could we construct the heart B is by, is, B, is essentially B omega and by the limit. So actually for every object in B omega, you will have, you will have, uh, Uh, F times H1 of F bigger or equal to zero. So this is generic condition, not equal zero. Yeah. Then uh, there exists a modification. But uh, uh, the modification actually really means a uh, uh, short exact sequence. Maybe uh, so 
that f prime is in in part here f prime The geometric meaning is that uh, uh, f double prime after the Friedman K image will be a torsion shift. So it's a modification in co dimension one. Let me write down the maybe to try to get you can find hat of uh, this. Uh, W1 fat hat will be a torsion shift after the shift. So it's the coherent. Uh, this means the pods smaller or equal to one, but uh, we need to uh, shift by uh, negative one. Okay. So this is geometric meaning. If you think this is the small modification, so this is still the main part of F. The statement is after this modification, uh, such that uh, the inverse Fulham Kai transform is a, a slope semi stable. A torsion free shift. So uh, actually, if you think after modification, this is a part B. This is part A, theorem A and B. So any question? This is just uh, mm, we want to do such, such, such thing. And uh, also, we need to. Uh, 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 check that uh, each n properties also hold for this ZL semi stability for the heart BL. That means, uh, given you any object in the heart, you will find the filtration with respect to uh, with respect to the descending uh, phase. The phase is given by ZL. This this semi stability. So, it's still true. And the proof of uh, this theorem. Actually, it's a, it's a straightforward, but uh, it's a, uh, you need really very careful study the, the sub-object. Mm -hmm. And the proof of HM property actually uh, is a similar uh, as Toda's work. Um, we will decompose this BL. Still, this BL, we can decompose that into some finer part, some, some smaller part. Uh, you can def decompose this BL uh, into some uh, I didn't tell you the detail, but the idea is decompose according to the limit of phase of object. We decompose this into uh, three parts. And we, we will show that uh, for each part, this is a torsion triple in BL, and for each part, we have the attaining and the certain condition for, for this small part. And this, this will combine together to give you the uh, finiteness of uh, some of the theory and the attaining uh, properties of, of BL. So that's the Asian property. So uh, I have uh, a few minutes. Let me uh, maybe briefly give you an, uh, an application. So an interesting application is uh, applied. We can apply this, this notion to the, just purely to the shift theory. Uh, we want to, constr uh, to find a stable vector bundle. OK, let me try to find a stable vector bundle. <coughs> and uh, it might have some other applications. For example, for the counting theory, uh, uh, maybe we will do that later. But here, uh, one application. Uh, it's also a, a theorem in our paper. Assume. Uh, PK rank equals two. This is PK rank. So in this case, you're really thinking uh, 
the surface as a, uh, I'm sorry, I remove the surface. PK rank two case, uh, you just have the one section actually. So PK class is generated by the section and fiber class. So still this number denoted to be negative of self intersection of section. And in this case, we also assume this to be positive, this small e to be positive. And let m be uh, such that sigma plus m prep f ample for any m prime bigger than m. Actually, you can take m to be 2. It doesn't matter. We just want an ample class. But uh, 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 then for any uh, integer n bigger or equal to 2, alpha is a positive real number. Recall alpha is given in the very beginning on the left-hand side. Alpha is uh, here, inside of omega bar. With, uh, with one condition. Uh, the condition is, uh, maybe seems strange, but we, I can explain this to you. Then, uh, O, X, N, theta. That's what our goal. This one is uh, actually a uh, uh, ZL stable. So that we could apply our main theorem, the, uh, the pre fully mechanical inverse of that is uh, mu omega bar semi-stable uh, locally free. Actually, you can argue that this is locally free shift. Uh, the reason we put some uh, strange condition is that uh, uh, we, can, we can study the wall and uh, potential wall and chamber structures. And to see such, uh, such object it actually uh, is a uh, it's not in, in the wall. So the sketch of that is uh, uh, first, uh, uh, such x it has only one negative curve. x is smooth surface with uh, only one uh, negative curve. So, so you will see uh, this is, uh, we will use a result of aqua and males that uh, if you have a surface with only one negative curve, then the only object it that uh, sigma omega destabilized lies in a line bundle L is, is of this one. That's the only possibility. So here we will take L as the O X N theta such that uh, N bigger than two or equal to two. Uh, the next step is to using this result we will study the potential wall and chamber structures. This wall and chamber in sense of bridge line, potential wall structure. So that uh, uh, we will see uh, the curve in the very, very beginning. This limit curve is in the chamber, is in a chamber. This is some detailed uh, computation. It's in the chamber. It's in the chamber uh, uh, if, if this sec second condition holds. That's why we have that uh, strange condition here. Anyway, put that condition, you will see uh, 
the limit curve is in the chamber so that uh, it is limit semi-stable. And uh, uh, we can use in the, uh, our main theorem, part B, to see that uh, it is mu omega semi-stable torsion-free shift. But in the end, you can argue that it's actually locally free. So this way, we, produ we could produce vector bundle. Maybe, uh, I forgot, maybe we computed the rank of this one, but uh, it's not important. Anyway, it's a way to, to use uh, uh, this uh, uh, Dirac category to produce some result purely in the, in the, in the vector bundle theory. Okay, I stop here. Thank you very much.